Well, g'day team, Murph here. It's been uh, nearly four weeks since the last round at Winton down in Victoria, and we now headed way up to the far north to a very warm Darwin. All the teams will be very much looking forward to a bit of a change of scenery and change of temperature, which obviously brings about some challenges based on tyre degradation and those kinds of things based on the track temperature, which will be a very, very different to what we've been used to. All the teams have uh, gone and had a test since the last round, a very valuable test because they are hard to come by these days. Uh, the teams get a very, very limited amount of test days, only two during the season other than the opening test um, that uh, they have at Sydney Motorsport Park at the beginning of the season. So it is very important to uh, learn from those uh, valuable test days. And uh, a lot of teams are talking up what they have managed to gain. Pro Driver talking up um, the, what they learned at their test. They probably, out of all, most of the teams, needed to find something um, considering their performance so far in 2018. All the other teams are also saying how much they've learned. Red Bull, Shell, Power, uh, Shell V Power, they're all saying that um, they've also moved forward. So it will be interesting to see who is actually talking it up and those who have genuinely uh, found some pace. This weekend uh, is going to, I think, throw a few cats amongst the pigeons. I think uh, Nissan Motorsport, who have been showing very good form of late, um, they go good up at Darwin. It's interesting that they go good up there considering it's a very long front straight, over 800 metre front straight, so it's a, a horsepower scenario, but I think their engines are actually going pretty good at the moment. Their handling has improved. Rick Kelly is in good space, as is Michael Caruso, and so can Rick Kelly continue on with the form he had and that race when he had at Winton a few weeks ago? I think he can. I think he will be fast. I think those cars are very consistent and are going to be amongst it. He'll be inside the top five as far as I'm concerned. Shell v Power will be fast. Fast. Rebel Horn Racing Team will be fast. David Reynolds needs to come back from a pretty disappointing uh, Winton a few weeks ago for Erebus Motorsport and uh, get some more points back on the board. I think he will do that as well. So I think very competitive. Uh, strategy will play a bit of a part up there. The temperature, tuning the cars into you know the different track temp and understanding it um, will be a key, but uh, one that, you know, is a good challenge to, to be a part of. So let's wait and see what happens. But for me, I'm going to put McLaughlin again at the top of the list uh, as far as who I think is going to be at the uh, winning. I'm going to put Rick Kelly in there. And um, I'm also going to put um, Jamie Wincup in there. I know Shane Van Gisbergen also goes good at Darwin. But I'm going to put Wincup in there. I think um, he will find some speed up there. They've been... Uh, a little bit off kilter of late, but I reckon after the test that they've had of recent times, I think uh, they would have moved forward. So McLaughlin, uh, Nissan Motorsport of Rick Kelly and Rebel Horn Racing Team Jamie Wincup are my picks. So get them in there. It's a hotly contested competition at the moment. Very hard to choose who's going to do what, but uh, those are my picks for the weekend. Have a good one. Good luck.